OK, some more differentiation here then. So we've looked at uh, basic techniques, we've looked at basic powers of x, and we've looked at uh, functions that consist of sums and differences of terms. So in our examples here, um, we are calling these products and quotients because that's what they are, but these are simple products and quotients. And in core three and core four, you'll learn a little bit more about uh, more complicated ones. So this expression here, the only way you've got at this stage of differentiating that is to expand out the bracket. So 3x plus 1 cubed means 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 squared. So that's 3x plus 1 times square this out, first squared plus the second squared plus twice the product. An example now here we have of expanding polynomials. Don't forget, we have to do all of that and all of that, which will give us 27x cubed. Um, let's try and be clever. How many x squareds will we have? We'll have 9 here and we'll have 18 there, so we'll have 27x squared. How many x's will we have? We'll have 6x there, and 3x there is 9x, and then the number, that root there, plus 1. So dy by dx is, bring down the power, 81x squared plus 54x plus 9. OK. Now the second one is an algebraic fraction. In other words, it's a quotient. You have no rules for differentiating quotients. You can only differentiate x to the n added or subtracted. So you have to change this completely. Well, you can do that by first of all writing root x as x to the half. And then you can remember a basic uh, rule of fractions that if you've got two things added together over a single um, item, then you can break that down, can't you? So you can write that as 4x squared over x to the half and 1 over x to the half. So before you go anywhere, you can write it as a sum of powers of x. So x squared divided by x to the half you subtract the indices. 2 take away a half is 1 and a half. So it's 4x to the 3 over 2. 1 over x to the half is x to the minus a half. Now we're ready to go. dy by dx. Bring down the 3 over 2. 4 times 1 and a half is 6. Take 1 away from that is a half. Bring down the negative a half. Take one away from negative a half is negative one and a half. So there we've got uh, dy by dx. Not much point in, uh, in doing anything else with that. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that as the answer. OK, so watch out for these now then. Um, we're calling them products and quotients, but you can always rewrite them in such a way as to do them in the conventional way. OK, Mary, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? OK, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x... 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.